This question says two people are balanced on a seesaw, as in the top part of the image. If the left person jumps up, which of the scenarios, A or B, is likely to happen upon landing on the seesaw? Is it A, where the left person who jumped is now at a position lower than that of the person on the right, who is now higher? Is it B, where we have an identical situation to what we see in the top part of the image, where both people are balanced on the seesaw? Or, if it's equally likely, then mark C. So this seesaw is essentially a class one lever, where here in the middle we have the fulcrum, and we see that because the forces on either side of the fulcrum are equal, or the weights of the people are equal, this is balanced. Now, let's consider what happens when the person on the left jumps up. Well, when they jump up, that means the force that was acting down on the left side of the seesaw, or to the left of the fulcrum, is no longer present. And this means the only force that remains is this force here, the force of the weight of the person on the right, or to the right of the fulcrum. And this will cause an imbalance in the seesaw, which will see the left side go up and the right side go down. Now again, we're asked to consider what happens when the person on the left lands on the seesaw. So this is sort of the intermediate position. When the person lands on the seesaw, we would expect to see something like what we see in A, where the force of the person landing on the seesaw will drive the left side downwards and the right side upwards. And therefore, again, we get a picture like what we see in A. B, on the other hand, doesn't make sense in the context of the situation. When the person lands back down on the seesaw, they will be exerting a greater force than that of the person on the right. And therefore, we should see this left side lower and this right side higher. But again, in B, they're balanced, as if the person had never jumped. So therefore, the correct answer is A.